our team of meteorologists joins Science Guy Steve Spangler on the grass at Coors Field for Nine News Weather and Science Day. It's a big hit, and as part of the, uh, the event, they launched a balloon outfitted with two cameras and some other instruments for a science experiment. Well, the balloon eventually reached an altitude, says our Marty Coniglio, of 93,000 feet, which is stunning. It's right at the edge of the Earth's atmosphere. And Marty is joining us. And Marty, you can actually see the curvature of the Earth in these pictures. It's re a remarkable thing. Not only that, you can see the glow of the Earth, the actual, the edge of the atmosphere here. It's well up into the stratosphere. And uh, Steve Spangler just got back from chasing. We had this flag aboard. This flag went to 93,000 feet wow. today. Oh Everybody signed it. We also had a scientist aboard. <laughs> Beaker is back and in, and in really good shape. We'll show you some of the other video we had from the payload of the balloon itself. There's Amelia holding the uh, vertical camera, me with the uh, horizontal camera. This is the balloon as it descended at about 1,200 feet per minute oh, wow. out of Coors Field, oh, okay. moving up and around. There was some concern about the wind that it might blow it into one of the higher things. But the guys at Edge of Space Science oh, are absolute pros at this kind of thing. So here you are. There's it's Beaker. Oh, there's that Beaker hanging the on for dear life. <laughs> where, the, where the balloon burst, oh. and we're now plummeting down from 93,000 oh, feet. Gosh. You can see the edge of the atmosphere, the curvature of the oh. Earth. The parachute deploys, and here we are. And, and of course, we used to have a, a nice, beautiful Nine News logo on the flag. You can see it getting whipped around there. <laughs> and now all that's left on the flag is the Nine. Everything else <laughs> is the nine's still standing, though. There you go. The Nine is still there.